All right, today we're gonna to be working on this um, butcher block island table that Emily found on Facebook Marketplace. And I thought I would just kind of build it and finish up cleaning it up so it looks nice. Stays rustic, but clean and new um, with a new Danish oil slash beeswax cover. And also just introduce ourselves a little bit because we have a lot of people who just have recently subscribed to our account and um, we would really appreciate it if you guys watched our long form videos, got to know us a little better and um, hopefully you enjoy this little video. And yesterday I clamped this all up. Um, I had to separate a couple of these layers because they were uneven and had gaps. So separated them, put new wood glue on and then clamped up this mayhem right here. So we are gonna take the clamps off and we will check and see if my job worked. All right, now we'll shave off the glue. I've got a 320 grit um, sandpaper. I'm gonna sand it real lightly, and I've got a couple little tiny cracks. I'm just gonna use a little bit of wood glue and the sawdust and mix it up, just fill in that crack, and then let it dry a little bit, and then we'll sand the rest. We've recently started a little homestead on this property, which is about, I don't know, two thirds of an acre or so. Um, we started beekeeping, we do a lot of home baking, um, a lot of those kinds of things, um, plastic free living, sustainable living. Um, just being more mindful of the things that we eat and not taking for granted uh, the blessings that we have to manage our own land. So I appreciate any of you who have recently subscribed. We don't have a lot of people that watch our long form videos, so we really appreciate anyone who is watching this right now um, because we can't monetize our account or make any money from this until we hit 4,000 watch hours. So that's our current goal. Everyone has been so generous in subscribing and following along, um, and I know our Long form videos maybe aren't as enticing or fast paced as our shorts, but if uh, you're feeling generous and you wanna knock out a couple of those, um, I'll put a couple playlists up on the screen um, here right now that you can go and view. Other than that, I think the sanding is about done and uh, I got these holes and cracks filled up. So I'm just gonna go see if we have the finish to coat it finally. Um, and if not, I'll just mount it to the table for now. So let's get into that part. Should have uh, worn a mask for that. Now I got dusty in here. Um, okay. So I made up these little uh, modifications to this because it was broken and eaten out a little bit from termites. And this is gonna be the portion um, that catches the drawer that slides in this. This will be flipped over and go on top of that shelf back there. So I'm gonna screw these in and uh, then we'll put the table up here on top of this and we'll start screwing it together. All right, that was a little bit tedious, but I put a little spacers here, which doesn't look very great from this side, but once it's flipped over, it'll be fine. And once I put this in and the gravity is holding it this way, we'll be fine to slide in and out nice and good. So, we're done with that. It's time to flip over the frame or the foundation, the, the legs, and put it on this and then we can screw it all down. All right, before I add the base on, I'm just going to put a little clear coat on this bottom right here real quick. Just to seal this wood, we're in a humid climate, and so any sealing of wood is gonna be better than nothing. So. We'll just do that real quick, and uh, and then we'll add the, the base.
All right, pretty fast drying. I'm just going to put this top back on, clean it all up, uh, the brush and stuff, and then we'll put that base on. Okay, you probably can't see the full thing from that angle, but um, it is done as far as we can get it done today. So, last little bit of things is probably just clean up a little bit of the legs a little bit more, um, maybe a little bit of light sanding. And then I have beeswax from our actual hive, which is pretty awesome. So we'll use that to finish the top. Um, I'll let the wife come and give it a pass through their hand and see if she wants it any smoother. Um, this is how it is today. I did just drop it which sucks. So this little bottom of this thing broke here, this little handle. So I guess I'll have to find another wooden handle and screw it on and either match the stain or we'll just pick a new little knob in general. But um, it's been cleaned up. Definitely has its rustic look still. I'm gonna recoat the top tomorrow and uh, I'll see you then. All right, so I just looked it up, and it kind of is like a, it's kind of like a paste. Um, feels kind of like, I don't know, pomade, and uh, we'll use that on a on a soft rag and put it on this table. So let's uh, let's go find a good rag. All right, this is the best soft rag I got that my wife will let me use. So I'm just gonna get some of that stuff off the side, and got a little paste there like that and uh, we'll just start going for it. Said so just rub it into the wood in circular like motions. Oh, I'm glad I made extra because it's gonna use it. All right, you can see a pretty clear line, the difference between the side that has it and the side that doesn't. Adds uh, a good coat to it and I shine on it. So we'll do both sides and finish this up. Um, so please, if you haven't already, please take the moment to subscribe. Uh, we really appreciate any support you give and uh, wait till the end of this video. I promise it'll be worth it to see this in its end spot in a locked room that is attached to our bedroom. One second, you'll see that final review.
All right, there it is in its final spot. Uh, thank you for anyone who watched. Uh, I know we don't get a lot of people who watch on here, but if you enjoyed the process of making a, or restoring a butcher block island, then uh, I would appreciate it if you continue to watch the rest of our videos. Um, hopefully you'll be able to enjoy some of them and you'll be able to learn something. And we'd love to have you join our community of people who are just trying to get by in today's world, honestly. But yeah, again, um, for any of those who are interested in watching more of our videos, um, we have playlists of beekeeping, farm and garden, of sourdough baking, of gluten-free recipes, of chickens, um, a bunch of stuff. So if you're looking to learn more about those or see some of our, our story and our journey um, in each of those hobbies and passions, uh, we'd hope that you'd find some value in some of those videos. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.